Good afternoon, everybody. So we'll start our presentation with the national slogan of Pakistan. So I will say Pakistan, and you have to say Zindabad. Pakistan, Zindabad. Pakistan, Zindabad. So I'm Mohammed Kasim. I'm a global U grad exchange student from Pakistan at Fairfield State University. So it's a little glimpse of Pakistan. So in the center is the national flag of Pakistan. These are some local buildings and local uh, methods of transport and all. So in this presentation, I have a table of contents. So first of all, I'm going to have a little introduction, brief history of Pakistan. Then we're going to explore all four provinces of Pakistan. Then I will go some information into arts and crafts, and then we'll come into conclusions. So first of all, talk about a little geographical introduction. Pakistan has four main provinces. These are Punjab, Sindh, Balochistan, and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. It also has some associated northern areas that are not uh, that are part of Pakistan, but they are autonomous territories and they have their own rules and regulations. And there is one disputed area that comes in Pakistan, and that's uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Comparing Pakistan globally, Pakistan is the fifth most populous country, second most populous Muslim country, and the 33rd largest country by area in the world. And its area is 340509 mile, uh, mile per uh, square. A little bit about Pakistani population, 227 million population with a growth rate of 2.0. I know it's a bit higher, but we have the growth rate of 2.0 with a life expectancy of 70 plus years. And our gender domain, we have 50% of men, 48% of women, and 2% of LGBT. And the sex ratio of Pakistan is 105.07. So, it's the national flag of Pakistan. The way it has two colors, there is a meaning behind that. So the green color, it, it represents the population of Muslim community in Pakistan, and the white color represents the population of non-Muslim community in pa Pakistan. So, the green color, and the crescent represent the progress, and the white star represent life and knowledge. We're going to explore the four different provinces in Pakistan. So first of all, Punjab. Punjab is the most densely populated province in Pakistan with the Lahore as its capital. And it's more techni technologically advanced. And it has amalgam of different cultures and it, with a historic Mughal dynasty. And back in history, Pakistan and India were a subcontinent. They were together and they were ruled by the Mughal emperor. So, uh, they left their image on the Lahore, and I'm going to explore it soon. So, it's the traditional dress of Punjabi people. It's called shalwar kameez. I'm wearing right now in front of you. So, it's shalwar kameez. Usually, uh, usually men with the kameez wear uh, straight cloth. It's called dhoti. And females usually wear shalwar kameez with a dupatta as well. So every province, since every province has its cultural dresses, it has its cultural food. So four provinces, they do have separate culture and separate dresses. So you will see there will be separate dresses and separate foods for each of our province. For the province of Punjab, it's more into agriculture. So we are more associated with some desi type of food and uh, they are more homemade. And, and the, uh, the first thing you see is, is the Curry of some. So it's the curry of some mustard plant and with some uh, with some corn tortilla. And all these are the curries and uh, it's the uh, style of presentation of food in Punjab. And Punjab is mostly an agricultural country, so. Uh, Agriculture province, so you will see a lot of agriculture activities in Punjab. There are farmers doing that, and there were first uh, bullock carts that were used to carry out the agriculture, but now we have grown up and technolo uh, technology is more evolving, so we use tractors. And, the, and it's a very common tradition in Punjab as well. So whenever uh, there is a mustard season, so in summer, usually females go out and pluck 
the mustard plant with their hands come to the home and cook. These are some historical buildings in Punjab. It's, the front is the mosque, Wazir Khan. That's the Minari Pakistan. Uh, it has some history related to it when the Pakistan resolution was called. So it was called uh, in that Minari Pakistan. This is a Shahi, Shahi mosque. It was established in the reign of Mughal emperors. And it's the Lahore fort. It has 400 years old history. With, and uh, there's a tomb, uh, tomb in the Multan. And the second, second, we're going to explore Sindh. Sindh, Sindh is the capital, uh, uh, the Karachi is the capital of Sindh. It's the second most densely populated province with the Sindh is as their mother tongue and it hits the coastal area of Arabian Sea. So, Shalwar Kameez is a common dress in Pakistan. So there are some cultural addings to it. So this is the Ajrak, that's the Sindh. That's the Sindhi patch of Shalwar Kami, so you'll see there's an Ajrak and there's a Sindhi cap as well. With the Sindhi cap, there is, for the females, there are Sindhi embroideries with the frogs and some head jewelry. So this is a traditional, some historic places in the Sindh. That's the tomb of the Qaidism that, that was the founder of Pakistan. These are some usually old, really old cemeteries in the Sindh, and there's a fort of Ruktas. Sindh usually has its history back to 702 when Muhammad bin Qasim came to the Sindh and established an Sindh. So all these constructions are related to uh, the reign of Muhammad bin Qasim, and they usually lie between like 400 to 1,000 years back. And talking about the food, Sindh is really, really usually very rich in its food, and the most famous food of the Sindh is the Sindhi biryani. Then we have some curries that's called Nihari, and from the Swedish, it's called Zerta. The third province is the Balochistan. Balochistan is the mo largest province in terms of land, and Bal Balochi is their mother tongue, and it also hits the coastal area of Arabian Sea as well. Once again, Shalwar Kameez, it's always a part of Pakistani culture, and they have added a Sindhi, uh, Balochi turban on their head. And with the females, they usually wear fully covered and embroidered frogs as well. And these are some couples and pictures from the Sin, uh, Balochi tradition. These are some old historic places in uh, Balochistan. Since Pakistan, it has very old history. Pakistan started, Pakistan has its history ranging back to 780. So all these old things were established there, and these are some look of mountains. And this thing that has some history associated with it as well, because it was the uh, it was the place in Ziyarat when the founder of Pakistan spent their last days of their life. And Sindhi music, usually every province has its own type of music. So uh, Balochi, they usually use sitar and their national, uh, their provincial dance is Jumar. With the traditional food of Saji. Saji is very famous, Balochi this, that, uh, that is eaten all over the Pakistan. So they have usually chickens and goats uh, on the stick and they are roasted and served with the rice. And then the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Peshawar is the capital of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. It is situated in the northwest region of the country. Pashto is their mother tongue and one of the main tourist destinations. We have a lot of tourist destinations in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and it's mostly the hilly and mountainous area. So you see a lot of railway tracks and the, it's the mountainous area and one of the major tourist spots. These are Sawad, K2, K2 base camp, and the Khyber Pass. And the Sindhi cultural dress, once again, it's Shalwar Kameez with a cap on their head. And with the females, they usually wear embroidered with the uh, most, and they have two major types of caps. One is the cap covering with some chains, and one, the other is there's a feather uh, on their cap. Their culture food. It's karahi, sea kebab, chapli kebab, and pulao. 
and Gilgit Baltistan. These are not actually the provinces of Pakistan, but they are associated northern areas that are autonomous territory. They have their own rules, but they are associated with Pakistan as well. North uh, Gilgit Baltistan, they are famous for their beauties, and a lot of tourists all over the world come and visit Gilgit Baltistan. Pakistan is a diverse country. We are a Muslim majority country, but we are not just the Muslim majority. We do have all religions there, and minorities include their Christians, Hindus, Sikhs, and all other smaller religions are existing in Pakistan. And one interesting thing about Pakistan, minorities are freely allowed to practice, profess their religion, build their own religious places, and preach their religion. So I'm going to show you some minorities. So, first of all, is the holy place of Muslims, it's the Faisal Mosque in the Islamabad. It's the largest mosque in Pakistan. Now, there's a St. Patrick Cathedral Church in Karachi. It was built around 1800s. After that, there is a Kartarpur Sahib Gurdwara, that's the holy place related to Sikhs. And in related to Hindu religion, we have a lot of temples in Pakistan as well. Our traditional musics are mostly Kawali and Ghazal. They're accompanied by some local musical instruments that are tabla, dhol, rubab, harmonium, and sitar. And each of these instruments is associated with one province. Arts and crafts, usually there are some traditional and old arts and crafts that are still practiced with the hand in Pakistan. These are, this man is making some chairs with the canes, and that's the woodcraft, and, and some major things about, some important, these are the pro Pakistani truck car. They usually love to decorate their vehicles. So these are the trucks that are decorated, and their Arabic calligraphy, and the pottery as well. Pakistan is diverse, and it has all types of sports in it. So the national sport of Pakistan is hockey, but we usually play cricket, polo, golf, local traditional games, everything. These are some games of Pakistani players involving in some traditional and international games. And one interesting thing about Pakistan, they're very interesting in their wedding. So these are some glimpses of the local wedding. Brides are usually uh, dressed up in some heavy embroidered dresses with a lot of jewelry and there are some dances and th that's a barad and that's the hall where weddings are performed. And at the last, I'm done with my presentation. Once again, we'll go with the slogan of Pakistan. Pakistan, Zindabad. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Pakistan. Now I would like to invite Dr. Kim to take me.